What's up, divas? What's up, divas? It's your girl, and we already know what time it is. It's Wednesday. So what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Real Talk with your girl, April, a.k.a. Muffin is my lovers. I hope you guys are having, like, a really great week. You know, it's the middle of the week, hump day, whatever y'all want to call it. You know, it's the middle of the week, so it's real talk today. So I hope you guys are having, like, a really great day. Like, seriously, you know something? This is, like, a long, even though it's only Tuesday, because I know I didn't record on Monday. I was so tired yesterday. Not even tired, but I was tired. I was tired. But, okay, listen, it's Tuesday. Today is the 3rd of August, and it is Mumsy's first day of high school, okay? Today is Mumsy's first day of high school. When I think about the kids, I just get like overwhelmed at times in a good way because I think about how much I've watched him grow. And now she's in high school, like my little baby is in high school. It's just like time really does go by quick. And then also tomorrow, which will be today when you guys see it, but the 4th of August will be two years um, of my son's passing. He passed away on the 4th of August. 2019 so that will make two years and um i try to think of it in a good way because you never want to think about anyone in like a bad you know in a bad way you try you try not to at least i try not to especially those who are no longer here you know i just feel like you know when that person is no longer here on this earth available just try to think of them in the best way possible um and I just try to think of it as a happy day, even though, you know, how some people will say, oh, like it's a, um, it's the anniversary. Like, I don't really consider it an anniversary because an anniversary we want to celebrate. Right. Who wants to really celebrate anyone's passing? Like, you know, what I'm saying that's like, I don't know. I really don't know how to explain it, but that will be that on the 4th of August. And also um, the 4th of August is Tinky's first day of first grade. First day of first grade. Um, wow. I don't know about y'all, but I be feeling aged at sometimes because it's like, dang, I got four grandsons. What the heck? What's next? You know what I'm saying? What's next? Um, but first day of first grade. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow. Yeah, this is like a long week for me. And um, I don't know. This real talk will go up on a Wednesday on the 4th of August. And nine times out of ten, I'll be just probably working on my computer, something like that. You know, like I tell you guys, I try to stay busy um, because if I don't, then um, that gives me more time to think about things that I really don't. It's not that I don't want to think about them, but I try not to get under the weather about certain situations, you know. And that's just my goal. But to me tomorrow, though, you know, the one thing that I will ask is that I don't I don't need no reminders from nobody. You know what I mean? I don't I don't need that. I don't need anyone contacting me like, well, you know, I was think don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Just leave me the fuck be. That's what I ask for every day. Just leave me the fuck be. But anyway, yeah, other than that, you know, I got some new makeup from Sheen. Now y'all know Sheen. Sheen you know, the clothing brand. Now, listen, I have gotten so much stuff from them over the past, like, I want to say, um, couple of years and it ain't clothes. Okay. They love to send me their she glam makeup, like great. But I fail, y'all fail to realize I am not a makeup beauty guru. I don't do tutorials on how to get your eyebrows right or how to get your eyeshadow on fleek. I don't I don't do that. I, I stay in the natural neutral color zone when it comes to makeup or none at all. And um yeah, like I have bad brow days. Not today. I meant to tell y'all this. Like, okay, so I've been using this other new stuff on my brows. And I've seen it on Instagram. You know how everybody got an Instagram um, page. So, NYX, I was on theirs. I wasn't even really on theirs. I was scrolling through um, Instagram. And this girl, she had did her makeup. She had these brown eyelashes. I've never seen brown eyelashes. But they didn't really look, they didn't really look good. But anyway... I went onto the actual page and seen like this girl was doing her eyebrows and then she showed this um, NYX professional makeup lift and snatch brow tint pen. Girl, it was like probably like eight different colors if I'm correct, eight or five, something like that. And it reminds me of one of those eyeliner markers but a little bit more finer, a lot more finer at the tip. I got the color espresso 
and it's just a little bit finer at the tip if I find a picture see that so I got the color espresso but she had filled it in like the tiny little strokes with this pen and then she had filled it in with the Ulta it was um the Ulta brow mascara now I don't know why they didn't use the NYX brow mascara because the Ulta one was $11 and the NYX was $7 like when you want to use the same two brands together and the mascara tinted mascara for the brows um what color is this this is a brunette because this is already like dark enough this is what i have on my brows today girl look at that okay like look just like little tiny hairs this one i kind of like jacked up in the mist because i was in a rush but I didn't even put this on because um, you really don't have to. But this stuff is amazing. And it doesn't even wipe off like that. Like, girl, you can get a perfect brow. Girl, try something. I'm telling you. Try it out. I really, really do like it. But, um, so, yeah, I got some new makeup from She Glam. I, you know, I, I I appreciate the free stuff, the free makeup. I appreciate it. Because I, I, I do like makeup. I have a nice collection that I'm surrounded by right now. But um, after you've seen like 20 eyeshadow palettes, you didn't see them all. It don't matter who make them. They all start looking the same, girl, all right? So they sent me their new eyeshadow palette collection. It was five different palettes. And they sent me some eyeliner. Um, some mascara and these eyelashes so I I'm like I hope they don't think that I'm about to do five different eyeshadow looks videos for them because that's not about to happen y'all can send me a motherfucking outfit shit fuck the makeup okay can a bitch can a bitch get a, a clothing haul from Sheen fuck the makeup but their makeup is pretty decent though but um so I just shot, you know, y'all know how I do my little wigs and stuff, how I have them all glamorized when I'm showcasing them in the video. Well, I did the same damn thing with the eyeshadow palettes because I am not about to do five different looks. You're going to get one from me. And the eyeshadow palettes, I don't really wear colors like green and blue. You know what I mean? You know, I am a neutral type of gal. So I filmed that part and I kept two palettes for myself and gave the other three to my daughter, Nay, and the lashes. Nay, it's got her own makeup desk. If y'all watch my vlog, y'all will see she got her nice makeup little desk. She building her makeup collection, so you know mama's gonna hit her off and make sure she get loads of makeup. So I gave the other three to her, let her choose her three. She made sure to leave me with the neutral palette, okay? Because she has enough neutral palettes. But, look, the palettes are really cute. They, they have like this kind of animal type of theme. Alright, so she glam. And, you know, this one here is Viva La Leopard. Really cute. Reminds me of like old like nintendo games like mario's like very pixelated and what have you just really cute the colors are nice like i'm telling you guys she she glam has some really nice eyeshadow palettes and has some good eyeshadow palettes bronzers you know they they do have a lot of nice colors um as for the foundation the last time i checked they their colors were not geared to a lot of women of color like they didn't get that brown honey but you can bypass that and get other stuff. Um, I have quite a few eyeshadow palettes from them. Um, I think I did give a lot of them to my daughter, Nay. She likes them. The colors are vibrant. You know, they're very, you know, pigmented. Um, there's, there's barely any fall off. They, they give good color payoff. But this is a really nice color. And you know me, I like, like the neutrals. You know, I stay in the neutral zone. You know, I gotta stay in my lane where I know what I should be. And then I just kept this one. The other ones was like greens and blue. I don't, you know me, I don't even wear colors like that. And I barely wear, wear colors like this too. But here's the thing. I'll probably do a look with this. For either one of those, probably, knowing me, it'll probably be with the brown one. I probably will never even use this, so I'll probably end up giving this to her, too. But, um, very pretty colors, you know. They they, they, they they do have some really nice colors, and they do very affordable makeup. So, you know, check them out. But, I, listen, a bitch wants some outfits. Fuck the makeup, the eyeshadow. I'm just saying. But, anyway, other than that, you guys, um, we're just going to jump into this promo. Then we're going to do the real talk. You know, if you have a real talk that you would like for me to talk about, you can always send me an email to muffinismylovers2012 at gmail, or you can also send it to aprilsrealtalk at gmail.com. Either way, I'll post them in the box description right here. You know, real talk, advice, real life, keeping it real, you know what I'm saying, keeping a 100, whatever. Let's get into this promo. So today's promotion is from a shoe company called TingeTree.com. I will list all of their information down below along with a 18% coupon code, which is Muffin Is. One thing that's so amazing about this website is they do go up to a size 11 in women. 
Now, if you guys are not familiar with my shoe size, it is a size 11 and I will say this, that is one hard shoe size to find. So these right here are the rhinestone chunky heeled sandals and they do retail for $38. That is US dollars and they do also go up to a size 11. They are an open toe shoe heel covering ultra high heel which is a chunky heel and it does have a line style buckle they do fit true to size which they actually do and these are definitely summer appropriate or any season depending on where you live i love the rhinestones in it and i also do really like the clear silicone like material on these you guys are loving sports i thought that i would pick these out which are the lace up knitted sneakers these are super inexpensive 29 dollars they do come in a color white and also black i opted for the white ones because i thought they would look really nice with some of my new workout outfits they are in a size 11 i should have picked a size 10 because they are rather roomy tinge tree they have loads of different shoes to choose from check out the detail in these i love the details they're very stretchy and they do seem like they would be very comfortable i'll leave all of their information along with the coupon code down below for this website Hello, Mrs. April. I thought I would come to you about this as you seem like you are tough skinned and pretty much seem to have been going through enough that you can relate somewhat or give me some pointers. Here goes. I'm a single mother, at least that is what I'm going to call it. I'm in my 30s and have been with the same man since I've been a teenager. At the early age of 16, we have three kids together ranging in ages 15, 10, and 6. I'm not sure why I'm still with him because he brings nothing to the table. Not only that, but he constantly says things that are hurtful like, I let myself go, I'm fat, my hair isn't like this and that girls he's seen on TV. Why can't I do my makeup a certain way? Why don't I want to get my nails done like other women? Why won't I wear what other thicker girls wear? I should go get my body done so I can be lit. Like I'm trying to figure out why he's here and why the hell am I still there with him? He doesn't bring anything to the table financially or mentally. And if anyone should be complaining, it should be me. I'm not sure when's the last time he took a long stare in the mirror and realize he's definitely not on anyone's cover magazine nor is he anyone's man crush for that matter sis when i tell you he didn't do anything for me in the attraction ways he doesn't do anything for me in the attraction ways at all currently he is living with a family member him and his cousin live together i put him out over a year ago and we've been trying to make it work but Mrs. April, there is nothing working. It doesn't seem like anything is going to be working it out. The body bashing has worn me thin, literally. I cannot take the mean quotes, he says, and barely supports our kids. We have had a couple of physical moments as well, and he knows I'm not up for it, nor will I stand for it. Plus, my brother will come and knock him off his square. But I have tried, and at this point, I honestly don't know where to turn. How does it feel to hear mean things about you? I only ask because you have been on here for a decade and more. So I know you have to know what I mean of being called names. It's not just the verbal to my face. It will be via text or even on my IG post, which now I have him blocked. How do you deal with mean people, mean comments, mean hateful things? How do you deal with mean trolls? Excuse me, I thought you said mean trolls. How do you deal with men trolls? It just feels like he would do anything to bring me down to make himself feel better about himself. He has nothing going for himself physically or money-wise either. And his job consists of being a dishwasher at the local Red Lobster. So what's that gotta tell you? Meanwhile, I bust my ass daily. I am the supervisor of a five-star hotel out here in Texas. 
Any advice would be helpful. Thank you, and you can call me Sade. Damn. That one needed a drink. Like, okay, let me just take a little drink here. Sade seemed like she going through it. So basically, her and her man she's been with since they've been teens. So they're not married. But um, they got three kids, ages six. What is it? 15, 10, and 6. Three kids. And she done put him out. So Sade put her man out, which is also the father of her three children, over a year ago. And now he's been living there with his cousin. They share, you know, I guess basically their roommate. And um, we're going to name him um, Marty. We'll just call her, her boyfriend Marty. So, you know, Sade put him out. Sade put Marty out over a year ago. They have three children together, 15, 10, and 6. And Marty's living with his cousins, basically they roommates, all right? And not only that, but they've been trying to work it out and make things better, I guess, between the two of them. And I don't know how you it, how are you going to work anything out if the other person, Marty, is calling Sade names. Talking about her weight, talking about why she don't do her hair like the girls he's seen on TV. Why she don't wear nails like fingernails, uh, fake nails like other women. Why she don't dress like the thicker girls. Shit, why she don't dance like the ballerinas. Shit, why she don't run track like the Olympic stars. Like, damn, he got a lot of requests for somebody, like she said, that don't look too good. And has he had a long stare in the mirror? Y'all know I be quick to say, oh, I haven't looked in the mirror lately. Um, you don't even look in the mirror. She said a long stare, okay? A stare. Like, god damn. She said he ain't got no money. Sade had to put in the word local Red Lobsters. He is a dishwasher at the local Red Lobsters, okay, out here in Texas. Okay, she didn't even say he was a supervisor. He's a dishwasher. Not only that, but they've had, like, physical altercations too and Marty should know better because Sade's brother come over there and knock his ass off his square. This is where it gets a little bit to be you know what maybe you should guys should not try to work anything out maybe y'all should just depart part part separate ways go about your business hey you stay over there I stay over here see when I see you you know you can come pick the kids up when you ain't busy washing dishes or what have you but this is where it's time to just say goodbye good riddance it was a nice life being with you but you know people do grow up and people do grow out of each other and if you're a teenager hooking up with you've only been with the same person one time in your life once in your life you've just got the same man in your face since you've been 16 years old same you've done woke up to the same dick you done slept next to the same dick you done you know I don't, well, look, I don't really know but it seems like you have because you cannot put up with his ass and from the way Marty's talking it seemed like you might not be his only one but we don't know what he did before you anyway but it doesn't even matter when you got somebody saying mean thing, how do, first of all, this shot they say I look tough skin, okay? At least she didn't say rough. Tough skin. How do I put up with people saying mean things to me? Because I've been on YouTube for over a decade. She's not lying, okay? She's definitely not lying about that. I have been here for over a decade. Um, how do I deal with it? I just don't give a fuck. Like, seriously, like, I don't really give a fuck. You know, sometimes you might get a little rah-rah out of me. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I don't really give a fuck about what anybody thinks about me. And though, I do care if you guys like me, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter if you do or don't. There's going to be somebody always that don't like you. There's going to be somebody always that does like you. So, it's like 50-50. It doesn't bother me at all what anybody um, thinks of me. Now, when you, it's one thing when you go and make videos about me and use my footage and then you, you know what I'm saying, then that's the part that I don't really care for. But it doesn't, that doesn't even really bother me so much. It's the part, you know what really bothers me? When people make videos of me using an Obama phone um, and they're doing an actual screen recording off of their actual TV or their Acer laptop, okay, and they're holding the phone. Now, I can't give you a really good example because this is not Obama phone, but when you're using like, looks like a flip phone to me that's being used and you're recording me from an actual screen like this, then it's like, I feel kind of insulted because God, can I get, can you just download the video off of YouTube? YouTube and then just like re-edit it on your computer like I, I feel like I deserve a good download not a fucking Obama screen record so and then you post it as a video like I don't like stuff like that 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 like if you're going to talk about me and you're going to talk shit about me at least like make sure that your video quality is good at least you know what I'm saying like that's that's the one thing I, I I'm like wow that's when I start feeling insulted like dang really but um 
Sade, I don't really care what people think about me or say about me. But see, your situation and mine's are totally different. I've never had a man that I've been with talk to me in that manner though and, and tell me that um, I've let myself go. Um, why can't I wear clothes like the thicker girls? Why can't I do my hair like the girl he sees on TV? Why can't I wear fake nails like other women? Yeah, I've never had any man say any one of those things to me and had they ever would have said something like that to me, I'm pretty sure there would have been a problem and the problem would have been his loss because I wouldn't even waste my time getting him fucked up or me fucking him up or even me wasting my breath. You know what I'm saying? So when you see somebody that is downgrading you or at least trying to downgrade you, can't because can't nobody downgrade you, okay? Let's let's be honest with each other. Like we have a person that's toxic talking shit to you like that, they're definitely not downgrading you. They're downgrading themselves for talking disrespectful like that. When you talk to a woman or any person like that, that means that you just a hateful ass person. And you could just be hateful for no damn reason or you could just be hateful because you hateful, you ain't got shit, you ain't about shit, you um you can't get shit, you ain't motivated to do shit, you, you know what I'm saying? Your looks ain't shit, your your husbands that you got married to ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? It's shit like that. Like when you hear talk like that from a person of those type of statues, statues and you they talk to you in that type of manner, girl, don't take that shit nowhere. Definitely don't take it to heart. When you hear people talk like that to you and say this is what you ain't, this is what you should do, you know what I'm saying? That should go in one ear and out the other, especially negative shit like that. Like, like on some real shit, like I don't let nobody that's lower than me try to lower me down. Like, let, let's be honest. And it didn't even matter that he's a dishwasher when I say he's lower than me. But when you can speak to a woman that you're supposed to try to work things out with, you've been with since you've been 16, the mother of your three children, you know what I'm saying? When you can talk to her like that, then you're definitely beneath her. You're below her. You're below me. You know what I mean? Like, why waste your energy on somebody that's below you? I hate to see somebody that's beneath me try to talk down on me and I don't ever want to make anyone feel like they beneath me but let's just keep it real we do have that in this world like there are people that are beneath us like if somebody is trying to be a bully you know what I'm saying then you beneath me if you trying to disrespect people on purpose then you beneath me. I don't give a fuck if you make more money than me, if your home is better than mine. Um, you know what I'm saying? That don't matter. If you can do shit like be disrespectful as, as fuck to people, downgrade and talk, talk shit about people, then you beneath me. If you're a bully, you're beneath me, okay? And there's a lot of other things that you can be beneath the person. So when somebody that is beneath you, mentally and also financially because the nigga work at um red lobster as a dishwasher that's what you got going on and then you trying to belittle somebody else man please like listen whatever he said about you sweetheart if he said you're fat then fuck that okay if he said you need to wear your hair like the people he's seen on tv then maybe his ass need to go find them bitches that he's seen on tv if he said why you can't wear clothes like the thicker girls wear then maybe he should take his ass out and buy you something okay men like that who talk down like that on women they don't even deserve a woman in their life look at this nigga he worked at red lobsters as a dishwasher i'm not saying there's anything bad about that because the nigga got a job but what you won't do is be disrespectful why don't she wear this or why don't she look this way why she don't look that way nigga why am I even with your ass and from what she's saying what Sade is saying he ain't really much to look at has he taken a long stare in the fucking mirror there are a whole lot of people that I would like not even a whole lot of people but I, I got like at least a handful of people that I would like to say to have you taken a long stare in the motherfucking mirror because, honey, if you haven't, you better get several of them shit. Because I guarantee you, each one that you look into is going to crack. And it ain't because of your ugly ass outer shell. That has something to do with it, too. But also because of your ugly ass inner shell. Now, you know, the mirrors can withstand looking at ugly people. There, look, there's lots of ugly people in the world who look at themselves in the mirror. But... The mirror cannot stand the ugliness on the inside, okay? That shit makes the ugliness on the outside look even worse. Especially when, listen, I always say this. If you motherfucking ugly, you should not walk around and be mean and nasty to people. Don't do that. You should be very humble and you should be a nice person. Because you too will find somebody to be with you. What I'm 
trying to figure out is what, what can he possibly bring to the table? At least he can take the dishes off the table and clean them. What can he possibly bring to the table? Like, why would you want to make anything work out with somebody who is degrading you like that? Nobody deserves to be talked to like that when they're in a committed relationship and they're trying to be with another person. That is not acceptable. That's not proper behavior. Maybe he he, he, help, he hates within himself, you know? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe he doesn't like what he sees on the inside of himself. Who knows? People be so mean to other people for so many different reasons. And you think that they just, like people say, oh, she just hate and she just hate and oh, she don't like you because she just hate him. That could be so, but also people don't like other people and could be saying mean things about other people because it might be something within themselves that they don't like. They might feel like, okay, let's just say this. We got somebody that trolls and they talk about mad people all the time, always talking about people, how they ugly, how they fat, how they this, how they that, whatever. But they haven't taken that long stare in the mirror. So it's like, hmm. Do she know she look like Cruella DeVille? Does she know that she looks like the Little Mermaid witch? You know, the sea hag witch that lives under the sea? Does she know she look like that? Hmm. Do she know she look like Skeletor? Does she know she look like that? It'd be a lot of times, those people that are just so mean and nasty to other people, it'd be their inner selves that be fucking with them. And that's the reason why they act like that. They'd be hating, but when we think about it, is it really just, oh, <sighs> just because you want to be hateful. No, it's something that goes deeper than that, you know? And I try not to call anybody ugly. I try not to call anybody fat. I don't, I don't really try to judge people like that because who's to say I'm the best looking bitch? Who's to say I'm the baddest puta, okay? Who's to say that I'm thin? Who's to say that I'm not fat? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, who's to say these things? So who am I to even say that about another person? Oh, that fat bitch or oh, that ugly ass bitch. Like, mind you, I will call you some motherfucking names if you push me, okay? You need, you know what I'm saying? Like poking a bear, poking a bear type shit. Oh, I will call you some motherfucking names. Don't get it fucked up that I will not because I will. But I just don't think like just because you want to be mean to somebody, that it gives you the right to just be mean to somebody. And I think Marty, her boyfriend, is being mean just to be fucking mean. If you have to hear someone that you love talk to you like that, sweetheart, then maybe you should um, reevaluate your relationship. Yes, it would be nice to be a family unit and have that unity as one. I'm pretty sure that if it was our choice as women and it was a good situation or we just care, it doesn't have to be necessarily 100% good situation, but you understand what I'm saying. If we could avoid like you know what I'm saying turmoil and if we could avoid the negative things in a relationship and stay with the father of our children or the mother of our children I'm pretty sure a lot of people would have it that way but unfortunately it's not always like that and a lot of people try to say oh well if you have kids with that person you should be with them or you should stay with them that doesn't necessarily work out like that all the time that's why there are women that have multiple children with multiple men okay why stay in a bad situation because you have a child with them also that's called mental abuse of what he's doing to you do you deserve that i don't think anybody deserves mental abuse regardless of how much of a troll you are or what have you i don't just i don't think that anybody that in their right state of mind deserves any type of mental abuse. I really feel like you guys don't need to be together. So what, you have children together, that's nice. But if he has to be dis so disrespectful like that to you, then I don't really see him growing up. He is very immature and he is a male chauvinist pig in my eyes. And if he's so interested in watching the girls on TV's hair and how the thicker girls uh, look, maybe he should take his ass and go find him a thicker, long-headed girl on TV. And I just really think like it's run its course, like sir. Seriously, this has definitely run its course, your relationship. Even when you're trying to make things better and you put him out, he's still acting like a dickhead. So my opinion, let his ass stay over there with his cousin and they could continue to be roommates. And you cut him off, cut the umbilical cord, cut the strings. Let's not talk about him anymore. Let's toss him to the woods. He's canceled. Let him just take care of his children. Hopefully he get a second job or a better job. We don't need to be with anyone who wants to be physical with us. God forbid you have to have your brother step into a situation and you never know what's going to happen. Therefore, why put someone else in harm's way if you can avoid it, okay? Meaning your brother doesn't really need to be able to come over and knock anyone off of their square because that might jeopardize your brother's livelihood, his life, or what have you. So I think like in all reality, it's best that you guys part ways and figure out a good way to let him know this.
It's sad that men can disrespect a woman like that and talk about their body. And that's, that's, that's the problem with the world. We all feel like we're supposed to look like somebody on Instagram or on TV. Meanwhile, those are just cookie cutouts of bodies. That's why they make different sizes because we're all different sizes. Yeah, Marty Marr, he needs to go find himself a new hobby, definitely a new job. Stop worrying about anybody's size. And maybe he ought to keep himself up to par because what Sade said, he ain't really much to look at, girl. Okay, time to part ways, time to call this quits. It's the end of a book of the era, finally. And if you have put him out already and he just feels like it's okay to still bash you, then he's gonna probably feel like there's a lot of things okay to do to you. So, you know, it's run its course, Sade. And I'm pretty sure the ladies down below will definitely let you know what they feel about the situation as well. So on that note, leave your comments below. What would you do in this situation? What do you think about these brows, girl? Okay, are they cute or not? I did wear smaller lashes today. Um, I did tell you guys that I, can you see them? Yes. I did tell you guys that I wanted to start selling lashes. So, I've actually got a shipment coming in and I will be putting them on my website soon. Give me within like a month or two. Um, probably like a good two months to be honest. I do have like a bunch of lashes that I already purchased. Um, just to see how they were going to be like samples, but I was going to wear them myself. But um, I did put in like a huge order of lashes. But look, I keep them in here. These, these, this thing, I love this thing. It's from the Dollar Tree. I have three of them. I put a little bling on that one. But um, yes, they're all mink lashes, all 100% mink. Um, and they're just going to be same name as my website. Just trying to figure out my packaging. This is what some of them look like. But I want to get some smaller ones. And I think like the shipment that I have coming in, I think those are smaller ones. Um, at least I hope they are. So these are just little samples of what I what I purchased for my own self to see how it looks. You know what I mean? These are all the same. It's a set of three. I hope you guys can see them. These. And like I said, these are just the samples that, um, I have like some more other ones too that, um, that I have for samples for myself too, but I'll show those to you at another time, guys. But yeah, so I was being serious, at least I thought I was, and I'm just going to try to make it happen. I just wanted to add a little bit of something special to my website, so... You know, but I love you guys. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up. Let me know your comments below. Cheers to you all, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.